In SU Podium version 2, reflections, refractions, bump maps, and LEM lights are applied to textures. This video will examine the material properties interface in Podium version 2. Let's start by opening the Caretaker House model, which you can download from the video page. I am using interior no lights scene. In other words, we are not using any artificial lights in this rendering. Let's add direct reflections to the glass, floor, and doorknob textures. Click on the glass texture in SketchUp. And open Material Properties in Podium. I will add 10% reflection to the glass texture. I can key this in or use the reflection slider. The reflection, diffuse, and transparent values must total 100%. This is important to remember. Unless the SketchUp material already has transparency, the default setting for any texture is 100% diffuse, 0% direct reflection, and 0% transparency. Let's also add direct reflections to the floor. Don't forget to click the Apply button. Another way to select textures is by using SketchUp's eyedropper, or select textures from SketchUp's Material Browser. Textures on curved surfaces do not automatically show up in Podium's Material Property, so you need to use the eyedropper. I will demonstrate this by adding 100% reflections to the door handles. Now that we have applied reflections to the textures, let's take a look at the podium settings. I am using default presets. Resolution size is viewport. Environment settings, I've chosen podium sky. In order for podium's physical sky to work, I need to make sure to have my SketchUp shadows on. Click the render icon to start the rendering. Once the ray tracing has started, I can click on preview to view the rendering dynamically. Here is the final rendered image. To get a bit more realistic reflections on the floor, you can check the Blur option in the Materials property. I'm also going to increase the reflection amount. Let's see how that looks.